Dudes Podcast. What is up, my dudes? This is Trent here with the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. I am joined by Phil Jordan and producer Seth is, I think what he said he was doing, he was watching some Twitch championship. I don't even know. Like I figured... I figured, you know, he could do the whole multitasking thing, Jordan, where he hasn't kind of gone the side and run our cameras, but we were not a priority tonight, so we will have to ask him about that Twitch finals. I don't know. Unbelievable. I, I don't know if that's Dungeons and Dragons or what it is he's doing, or maybe it's some, it's some kind of Mickey Mouse shenanigans, that's for sure. So who yeah. knows? Hey, Seth, if you're sick or something, just tell us. You know, I, I know you made, he yeah. made fun of you, Phil. He gave, but- me, he gave me grief about all the PTO that I've been taking. The guy's been here a hot second, like literally... Oh. It's he's been here for a lot less time than I have, and the dude's taken way more time. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. He just I think what he, he does a good job. Let's give it. Let's he does a good job. Yeah. But he feels very confident in his position here at the pod. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, something someone told me once: everyone's replaceable. E- everyone. Not, yeah. not saying we're replacing you, Seth, but I'm running the cameras right now. So. And you're doing it pretty well in the so five seconds far. that we've done this. Yeah. Yeah. So far, and I did forget to actually hit you know our little free agency preview. And did yeah, you hit I, record though? I hit record. Okay. And yeah, we don't even have all cameras on right now. So Seth, get back soon. <laughs> this uh, is this just is, a this is an nightmare. absolute disaster. Sorry about that, YouTube. So. Anyways, yeah, so we got our free agency wish list. Seth, get back soon. Also, do we, are we going to give a, I think we're going to ask usually, usually we start the pod by asking about the weekend, but are we going to give a little shout out, little, little hey Yahoo, I don't know what you want to call it, to, uh, you know, Valley Champ. Jordan, is this your third Valley Championship? Yeah, third, third. Let's give it. Let's tra- come on. Clap yeah, it up for that. Come, I, I, come, I, I, come I, on. I need you to. I need you to stop I, doing the camera. No, for no, one no. We, we the camera has nothing but Jordan on. Right? Seth, get over here now, you <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready to clap it up again. I three. This is an. I, I almost should reset the whole thing. All right. This, this is that bad. <laughs> we, are we gonna pause? Are we gonna? No, no, no. We're good. Know. We're good. We're switched okay, up. So okay. yeah. Hey. So are we gonna clap it up? No, no, no. We got Road Dog in the house here. We got Road Dog. I'll try to edit that out. Road Dog. Clap it up. Levin Seed goes and wins the section. Jordan, there yep. you go. Clap Chance. it up. Yeah. Let, rip, let, your, rip your sweater. He's, yeah, he's, he's repping it. Yeah, yeah, I got the yeah. shirt right here. I don't know if you can see in the camera. The camera's not even running, is it, Trent? Yeah. Camera is running. Oh, We've it been is recording running. Yeah. for two I got, minutes. I got the shirt here. Uh, yeah. No, it's it's fun. Eleven Seed uh, went on the road three times and then went to the Celan Arena. If you guys, some people probably don't know Celan Arena. It's like a big. Uh, Fresno State basketball team used to play there back in the day. It's a it's a it's a nice size Fresno arena. Fresno Falcons, yeah, yeah. Also, um, hockey team that doesn't exist, exist anymore. anymore. But, but yeah. monsters are better. No, than it's the it's, a, guy. it's a big arena though. So the our our section does a really good job of like making it a big event. Yeah. And so it's it's fun for the kids, and we were able to beat the one seed, and yeah, that is is a fun run. And and now we're we got a state game, state state final state state playoff game on Tuesday. We're going to Monterey, so. Got about a three hour drive on Tuesday. That is a drive. Let's go to Monterey High School. So, yeah. and you guys put a whooping on the one seed. Yeah, we did. Yeah, so I am. Um, yeah, it's it's been fun. The players did a really good job of like coming together as a team the last few weeks, and it's been fun to watch. So the, before we get into the what the this podcast is actually about, aka football, uh, do you, is state for basketball all divisions or is it just di- the division that you're in? Uh, we're in division you're in. Yeah, division. There's there's five divisions, um, and you can be a state champ of that division. Yeah, so there'll oh, okay. be five state champions. Okay, um, I'm sure that's pretty normal for most. Actually, I, six. It'd be six because there's open, one, two, three, four, five. What's open? Open is uh, see. So open used to mean more like when uh, like when we were in high school. How like the division four team, division four state was like really good. Like. You could play NBA players. Like I my senior year we went down and played a guy who played for the Cavs. He went to Virginia and played for the Cavs, London Perontis. But so open means that like the bet no matter what division you're in, the best um the best eight teams in the South, best eight teams in the North open. But with it doesn't mean as much now because back then it was like just based on pure enrollment, you know? Oh, okay. Now there's more other stuff involved. So Gotcha. But it basically, the open means the best eight teams, regardless of division, in your each each uh, north and south play open. So, That's sweet. You're yeah, but there'll be six state championships crowned two weeks from yesterday. Very cool. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. That's going to go fast. And they play at the Sacramento Kings Arena. And here's the thing. Like, me and Phil went to the game. I don't know where Seth, Seth could have been there. He didn't sit with us, though. He didn't sit with maybe, us. Maybe he, he might have been there. 
I, do you really want me seen with him in public? I'm being honest. Don't no, actually don't answer that. But Jordan <laughs> actually, you know, we we yelled at Jordan, you know, while they were warming up. Did, I know it was mid game. I did not game. hear you guys yelling. Yes, warm-ups. you did. Oh no, not no, in warm-ups. No, not warm ups. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, during the I, game, uh, did you hear it? I turned. I was just, you know, I'll be honest. In timeouts, like there's only so much you can do as an assistant coach in timeouts, <laughs> right? Like, so I was just, I was looking around, looking at all the people in the crowd, and I. Uh, I see Phil. Up, I see Phil and Trent up there, and, I, and like at first I couldn't tell if they were waving at me. And all of a sudden I was just like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" You made. I'm pretty. Phil was telling everyone you made eye contact, and it locked with him directly. That's, true, yeah. directly. That's why they won. Probably like that was at a turning point. It was a timeout. It was we, a I think point. we called in, the timeout in quarter one. I think in quarter think one. It wasn't and then we one. turned it around, and it's like I think it was just because you and I were like getting to that winner mentality. Basically, Phil should probably get a rig. I feel like I should. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if it was because it's been so long since I've been there last, but Selland Arena did not seem as big to me. I don't know. Maybe I was expecting well, the court, like staples. The court, or, the court is I don't way know different what I was too. thinking. I don't know. Yeah, they redid the court. court's but. a lot different than it used to be. So yeah, I don't it's know. It's lighter. So I don't know. Maybe the darker, when it was darker, it felt bigger. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I only went, to, I think, I never went to a, I actually, you know what? I saw the. The uh, globe trotters there. Globe trotters there. And I Disney saw the globe trotters last week. <laughs> <laughs> I saw globe trotters there, and then I also saw the Falcons a bunch of times. But I never had seen any any yeah. other. Really, I'm sure you went to like arena oh, football. No. Yes, I did. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I went to some arena football. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. true. I went to at least one arena football game. Right. Well, just some just some housekeeping notes. You know, for this pod, uh, we are having no draft this week. We're gonna have to punt and do that next week, but. You know, that will be next week. We're just taking one week off from the draft, so don't you worry. Just a quick weekend recap. I know we saw Jordan play, you know, coach basketball. That was fun. Just some side notes from me. Uh, my daughter discovered bacon this weekend. So, oh, you know, that, nice. was, that was a big, that's a milestone for a two-year-old. You know, she's pretty picky, but she ate all of her bacon, you know, both pieces. So yeah. it's a big deal. She also had her first churro at the basketball game. <laughs> okay. I gave her about a quarter of a churro and she returned it back to me uh, with no sugar on it. So uh, she enjoyed the churro. <laughs> but churro <laughs> totally intact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was, it was impressive. But uh, yeah, so that's just kind of a little weekend recap there. Phil, I don't know if you want to say anything that, you know, you had anything special or. Yeah, no, I'm trying to think if there's anything. Yeah, no, I'm, I, you know, it was a, uh, a good weekend. Um, didn't do much. Got to hang out with the family. What, what do I, I feel like I did. Oh, we have, we have one breakfast place basically in our town that most everyone goes to. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I have three children, right? And my wife's pregnant. We're well, the one was closed. The, you're going to say it was closed. The one. It was closed. Yeah. So yeah. my kids got all fired up. Because our team was supposed to go to breakfast there on Saturday morning. Oh, <laughs> but but it was also closed for you guys. It wasn't it was like closed. you guys closed it for the team. No, oh. it was closed. So they had to go stay to Audible and go somewhere else. Yeah. But so yeah. I, so we were like, my, my kids wake up and that's kind of like a treat for us. We obviously don't go out on breakfast regularly, you know, and uh, just because it's, it's kind of expensive. Not this place in general, but just going out in general yeah. is expensive. And so I, our kids are all jacked up. They're like, let's go. We're going to, you know, we're going to go to breakfast. And they like biscuits and gravy and their Swedish pancakes there. So they're just fired up. And I'm like, man, there are no cars there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually a pretty packed place. And it's pretty packed. And I'm like, this place is closed, isn't it? <laughs> this place is absolutely closed. And it was. It was, in fact, closed. And I had to do the drive of shame where I did a U-turn. But the problem is, is that there's really not that many yeah. great places in our vicinity. And because of that, Denny's was swamped. Yeah. And so then I had to drive. I drove to one place that was in Visalia, which is 20 minutes from us. Oh, wow. They had a 30-minute wait. So then I had to drive to another place that had like a 20-minute wait, right? <laughs> and it's just like, dude, going to breakfast on a Saturday morning with three it's kids. Chaos. It's chaos. My kids are like, Dad, are you serious? Why didn't you make that other place be open? It's like I had no control over that. Like, it's just everyone's just like, this is the worst. We we left the house, I think, at like 9.30. We got home For at brunch. No, oh. yeah. Well, we had brunch. Yeah. We got home at basically noon and we ate at like 11. It, it's just Crazy. like, dude, it took an hour and a half to eat. That's just insane, right? It's, yeah, it's anyhow. It was an adventure. I'm That's just, all I'm saying. I'm just mad, Phil, that I feel like a complete numbskull for not being able to run the cameras and turn it on while I'm mid bashing Seth. Mm-hmm. That's just. That's embarrassing. Now I don't even want to put in all these things up on our YouTube page at TFF Dudes. I have a please subscribe and all this stuff, but I don't even know how to do it. You could so have had a biscuits and gravy yeah. plate flying. Yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, basically, yeah, all kinds of stuff. And uh, and 
I'm missing out on some other stuff here. We have a big announcement. Uh, we just signed a deal with Underdog. Underdog, yeah. Underdog, so not up dog. Not up dog, not underwear, but underdog. So let's clap it yeah, up. Yeah, let's that. clap it up. Yeah, yeah we can clap over that. So yeah, so code name dudes, and uh, it's just a. Uh, it's an easy way for some NFL action or any fantasy, you know, daily pickems. It's a lot of fun. You pick higher, lower your favorites, players, stats, and you can win up to 20 times your money in a single night. And also, it's going to be, we're going to do some fun best ball drafts this year. We might do some weekly drafts here on the show to wrap up our show on Thursdays, where it's just us dudes drafting a team, maybe put a dollar in and see how it goes and winner take all. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good uh, transition underdog. I'm excited about it. It's a e- it's one of the easiest places to play fantasy sports for season long, and it, like the best ball thing, I think it's to be a fun yeah. No, I, I'm a I like underdog. I hadn't really used underdog until this past uh, season. Um, I did like five forty five dollar best. So they do like their best ball t- big best ball tournaments, like huge prize pools. Um, I think there's like the main one is like twenty dollars a draft, hundred and fifty max, and you it's like a million dollar prize pool. But I, I did like the puppy. It was one of the puppy ones, which is like a five dollar buy in mm-hmm. puppy bowl. It's like no, I mean it's called the puppy, kind, uh, sort of, kind of, sort of. Yeah, um, I put forty teams in there, uh, five dollars a piece, and ended up getting like some of my money back. But it, it was like a good little. It was fun. Like you spend all August like just drafting teams. I think I did like five te- drafted like five teams like every day. It, it kind of helps you for draft season. Too. No, like I felt like I was really locked into like where things people are going. And there's strategy. There's a lot of strategy involved in that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll give us some good content um, in the summer, you know, to talk about yeah. best ball. And, but they also have really good, like you said, they have good pick em stuff, uh, prop bets, and, and all that fun stuff. So, like, it, it's just. I think it's a it's a good combination of the best of both worlds. Yeah, type and they of do game. have a prize book coming out also soon. Sports book. Sports, sports book. Yeah. Sports book. Yeah. So underdog fantasy, best and easiest place to play fantasy sports. Uh, no waivers, no lineup setting, stress, no stress, no league management aspect after your draft is key. Pick your favorite fantasy team in minutes. Sign up with code DUDES and you'll win double your first deposit. And they will match you up to double your first deposit. So hundred dollars in bonus cash up to hundred dollars. Hundred dollars in bonus catch when you make your first deposit of ten dollars or mo- more. Deposit a hundred dollars, get a hundred dollars. For free. what it's worth, that was really tough. That was rough, uh, yeah. right now, Trent. They have some baseball, uh, best ball going on right now. That'd be fun to do. They maybe. got like a, a ten dollar entry. Uh, looks like it's forty. Uh, what do we got? We got hundred thousand dollars the first on ten dollar entry. And one thing that I will say that I really like is the head to head. That's yeah. not something that we've had. I mean, I know that's on some some other sites it, as well. It would be fun though to do drafts. So we'll have yeah, you our do normal... like a two person or yeah. No, no, no. I'm talking about, and you may be talking about the same what thing, but t- like, well, you can say like Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson rushing yards. Who's going to have more? Yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the, rivals, the rivals, the rivals. The rivals. Sorry, yeah, not head to head rivals. Yeah, you can go. You can go. Who's who's going to have more rushing yards this week? Or you know what? Who's I, never more even passing saw, yards? I never saw. I never saw that. No, it's, it's yeah. pretty. It's pretty neat. That's what I'm here for, Jordan. Yeah, it's going to be fun, though, and we have these shows, and all of us, you know, do a little bit, you know, on our Thursday pod, and Give we can all play bit. against each other. You know, it'll be fun each week. So I, I think it's, I think it's, <laughs> give a little bit. Of your heart. <laughs> they got a, they got a three dollar tournament going for baseball right now, Trent. That's five thousand dollars the first. Yeah, so it's it's a slick app, user friendly website. You have no problem jumping might, in and drafting your squad. Might throw, squad. A couple, throw a couple teams in this Jump in there right here. Is it a is it spring spring ball? Uh, no, no, it's, it's best ball for the whole season. So you you oh, just have your whole draft, oh, oh. and then it's over. And then it's you over. don't have to set it ever again. Oh, and then it just you just over. draft, and you see what happens. And then the points at the end, however many points so you it's, have, uh, that's cool. So one through eight, uh, MLB weeks one through eighteen. Whoever, if you win, so it's like pot. You're like in a league of like ten or twelve. I think it's twelve people drafts. Twelve people in each draft. If you win that league. You at the end of the week eighteen, you go the you you qualify, then you just keep. But advancing. do you win money at the week eighteen point? If you get first, yeah. Oh, sweet, yeah, okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, good deal. Trent is struggling again with these I'm, cameras. I'm, yeah, Seth can't get back soon enough. We're all messed up here. Yep, for more than a couple of reasons, but it looks like we're uh, we're back up in action here, and you know. I think, yeah, I think this is going to be a fun one. We can play, you know, we can, on uh, leading up to the uh, yeah, weekend, of, we can have some yeah, games going on. Best ball is always fun. It's, best it's, ball. It's easy to do multiple best ball leagues, but yeah, so go hit uh, promo code dudes and they'll match you up to 100 bucks. 
So go check that out. So let's get into, you know, let's get into some, you know, off season questions and all that. So we got, we got a free agency, you know, kind of wish list here. Free agency light. I feel like we'll probably I, yeah, do a couple we'll more. Of more. These, you and know? combine's coming pretty soon, isn't it, Jordan? When is a combine? I feel like it's coming yeah, pretty it soon be. here. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Aaron Rodgers finally got out of his out February twenty eighth through the March sixth. So, so yeah, dude, yeah, that's like yeah, we're coming so up that's on this. So this next week. week, so we'll probably do a little combine recap next week. You know, some stuff that stuck out to us. But Aaron Rodgers back from his darkness retreat. I haven't heard anything. You know, I don't know if he saw his shadow or what happened with that. You love that joke. I, I, I think love he it. said that oh, the exact same thing. Said it for like the last four yeah. blocks. <laughs> and honestly, there are some photos of that house. It looked it looked kind of like I think someone said it would look like a Hobbit house. Yeah. Like it looked like it was up and up into a, a hill. Um, it looked kind of cool. Like I'd love to stay there with the lights on, though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Maybe Unless, a TV. Maybe a TV. The lights on. Actually, maybe not. You know, just go but get. You're, a, you're probably staying next to people who don't want to hear anything. Yeah, though. wilderness retreat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like it looked like a cool spot. Who knows? Maybe it's like in the middle of Bakersfield. Bet it's super expensive. Yeah, yeah, you would assume for, for so. what you're getting. I think it's very expensive. Yeah, it's on like Tahoe Ranch or something like that, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's up in Oregon, but uh, quarterbacks. You know, you were talking about this, Jordan, before we got in this. We got Derek Carr here. It's uh, David Carr tweeted. It's probably going to be a long, drawn out process. He's no no rush. Yeah, I think I really think everyone's going to wait for Rogers to kind of figure out what he does, and then they're going to go from there because there's no reason. I think Rogers is the premier guy. Yeah. There is no reason um, for him for anyone to make a decision to, or teams to make a decision without because like you have what, who's the top teams you think for the in the Roger sweepstakes? I personally, I think it's just Raiders and Packers, not Jets, not Jets. There's a lot of rumors flying around, yeah, around, I, around I, about the, the Jets. The Jets would surprise me. I, I know Namath said he'd like unretire his number for Rogers. I heard that too, but the Jets seem pretty hot on uh, De- uh, Derek Carr. And that's where it's like if they think they can get Rodgers, but they're going to wait for Carr. You know, I mean, they're going to wait to make do anything with Carr if they think they can get Rodgers. I mean, they told Carr he would be a first ballot Hall of Famer if from he, what I saw on social if, media. If he won a Super Bowl. They said if you come here and win a Super Bowl, you'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer, which They maybe, felt confident that they would win one in yeah, his first year, though. Yeah, which is – I know that seems like a stretch for me. They have a good defense, decent defense. Yeah, the other Better is – decent. yeah. Rodgers, I, I don't see Rodgers as a New York guy. I don't see him as a New York guy. I see him as, he if he goes and plays for the Raiders, you think of Las Vegas as like the strip. That guy's going to live like, I don't know, he may live in like Parhump, like in the middle of no <laughs> it's, no it's, it's Parhump, not Parhump, <laughs> okay? It's, it's Parhump. I've never heard it's that a, city sound out. I've only seen it. <laughs> Isn't it P-H? I it's don't know, perump. but it's Perump, and that's where you can get your fireworks close to the border. That's where yeah, everyone well, goes there. I think that's like I could see him out in the middle of nowhere, like in the desert. Like he's commuting in. You know what I'm <laughs> that's, saying? That's like two hours from Vegas, just so you know. That's the thing. I mean, hey, do you guys remember? <laughs> Probably Perump. 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 <laughs> that, t- that tight end used to fly into, I can't even think of his name. That tight end used to fly into the Seattle's uh, practices. Uh, Philip Rivers uh, drove, what, two hours every day from San Diego yeah, to no, LA, yeah, so he wouldn't have to move So this family. is sounding more possible. I could see Rogers living <laughs> in the middle of living nowhere. In Perump. And like He's a not living in <laughs> <laughs> don't know. I could see him. Uh, yeah, I, I don't see. I Trent, I agree with you. I don't see Rogers in New York. He just is not a New York guy. He's a West Coast guy. <laughs> Parhump. That is so stupid. <laughs> Didn't I say Parhump? No, he said Parhump. He, I can see him moving in Parhump and just had to register in my mind like where you were talking let me, about. Let me see. It is not Parhump. I can guarantee you that it's Parhump. I'm going to look up the <laughs> pronunciation of that. Oh, yeah, it is Perump. My bad. No, spell it for us real quick. P-A-H-R-U-M-P. I thought it was spelled differently. I don't know. I've driven through a handful of times. <laughs> you, said, you thought it was spelled P-A-R-H-U-M-P. That's yeah, what you thought it yeah. was spelled. Yeah, we still... It sounds like Lamar Jackson's contract's going to be, you know, a ways out. You know, maybe... There's no way they franchise, franchise tag him. Is there, Jordan? Uh, they probably they? will franchise tag That's him. That's what they're going to have to do. The other one is uh, Daniel Jones. That's the other big free agent. Yeah, well, what about? Yeah, they said he's wanting forty-five million. You were surprised by that. I, 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 I was, was surprised. Couldn't you easily see him going to like the the commander? Even though there's an East team, like maybe not the Commanders because they're in the uh, uh, NFC East. But couldn't you easily see him going to like Indianapolis? Do you know what I'm saying? Jones, like, I I don't think they're gonna let him go. But I don't think they let him go. But if they did, let's just say they did. 
and let's say that the the commanders weren't in NFC East. Like I could see him going to one of those teams. Yeah. So if he gets forty five, he's like getting paid like Josh Allen money, Jordan. But but also like that's what franchise quarterbacks get paid now. Like if the, if the Giants are going to resign him, they're saying he's my he's our guy. That's what those guys get. Yeah, I just don't think that I, I, he is. I, I thought he had a good season. I don't think he's the type of guy, Jordan, that I'm ready to restructure the whole quarterback market off of. You know what I'm saying? I think he went out for 45, hoping he gets like 33, 35. You know what I mean? You think yeah. he goes, you think open market, he goes and gets 45 million from a different team? It, man, teams are desperate. And the way they can structure these contracts, maybe it's like he gets 45 the first year with another 10 million signing bonus or whatever. And then it's all front loaded as contracts or they're not tied to them. Yeah. Long term. But I mean, teams are desperate. Quarterbacks are not good. And Daniel Jones did some good things this year. So yeah. Looking at this, man, this I is... ultimately think though, that he does resign with the Giants. What if he goes yeah. to Tampa Bay? Holy wow. I could I, like, who's going to be the quarterback in Tampa Bay. How, they have, one they yet? said they like, uh, Trask. Trask. Well, that's what they said right now. Our Arian said Trask is the guy right now. Depending I'm also like skeptical. The Commanders are going to walk in next year with Sam Howe, but it's I, possible. I am, too. I am too. But like top quarterback pay or contracts right now is Rogers is 50 million a year. Russell Wilson's 49 million a year. Kyler Murray's 46. Deshaun Watson's 46. Patrick Mahomes is 45. And Josh Allen is 43. Stafford's 40. And Dak is 40. Kirk Cousins is 35. Jared Goff's 33. Wentz is 32 million. Ooh. So it's just like, I don't know. Dan, that's why Dan Jones is going to get paid $40 million during because yeah. Carson Wentz is getting paid 32. Yeah. But I think Carson Wentz is going to get cut. I don't think they yeah, can. No, I, I know. They, but like, yeah. that's the problem, though, is that the market's set. Uh, what do you think Titans do? That's For a quarterback question, or? Actually, Jordy. Quarterback. You think they roll with Malik Willis? You think Tannehill? What's Tannehill? Tannehill's a free agent? I haven't seen what Tannehill is. I, I know they're kind of cleaning house there a little bit. Like, they've lost some linemen, all that stuff there. So the offensive side of the ball could look a little So different. they're saying that... They um, let Robert Woods go, yeah, too. Yeah, they cut a bunch of guys. They're saying that Tannehill could be another one that gets cut. Yeah. I I kind of want Malik Willis to be good. I don't know if he will be. He definitely good. He could be good for fantasy. He could be good for fantasy. Even though he had he had two, was it two rough games this year? Like, he has the possibility of being pretty good for fantasy. So, so like, could Jimmy Garoppolo go to, like, the Saints or the Bucks, the Jets, Colts, Titans? Those are kind of the teams I'm thinking of. Uh, even, like, maybe some, one of those guys goes to the Ravens if they can't figure something out and they do a trade. I know we got a lot of shade on YouTube for our Lamar Jackson trade talk. You know, Which, people were super mad about, about it. About the, yeah. the Bears one? Yeah, yeah and, I mean, and that that's like – that has been published in articles from people smarter than me, as Jordan likes saying. Like, I don't know how – I mean, I'm not going to get fired up of the YouTube comments, but it's like – People are acting like that's if they're people if they're people if they're randos it's like whatever but I I kind of hope it's like people who actually listen to the pod and they're like no I'm going to TFF dudes on YouTube and I'm gonna light fill up for like a Christmas tree yeah it was right like here. probably yeah. one of the Fox yeah. commentators <laughs> yeah, go, go. <laughs> go. <laughs> just like it's like dude why are you trolling yeah, our page yeah, yeah. like <laughs> Olson uh, no yeah, well go. he does uh, he did hear me talk trash about his commentating a couple of weeks ago yeah so go to TFF dudes on YouTube give us a subscribe give us a five star rating in review here if you're listening on podcast and as always don't be rude share the dudes really helps us out if you, if you like what you're hearing there's a good chance your dude friend likes hearing it too so go ahead and share yeah. this episode give us that thumbs up on the youtube video and uh yeah just you know share you know share us it's pretty simple uh jimmy g like yeah there's the quarterback situation it's gonna be weird i think the titans cut uh Tannehill. they can save 17 million 18 million dollars if they cut him so they have it out after this this year. I they have it's the last year before they can completely avoid the contract. But uh he carries the fifth highest cap number of quarterbacks, Ryan Tannehill. Wow. So they can save eighteen million dollars and he's thirty four years old. Mm hmm. And not getting any better playing wise. No. Well, yeah, and there's just it's a rebuild, like they have uh what's the guy's name with the big hands, that wide receiver? Uh, Traylon Burks. They got Traylon Burks. They don't have Robert Woods. It's just a not a lot of pass catchers there. It, it, they're kind of in that rebuild mold, mode with 
Derek they went King. full re full rebuild full though. Rebuild. Like it wasn't like rebuild. it wasn't uh, like a Seahawks rebuild where Seahawks. Uh, not a Seahawks pod, but uh, or the Seahawks made the playoffs. Like I don't see foresee the the playoffs for. And what do you do if you're Derrick Henry? Like how how much longer does Derrick Henry have? Like Jordan was He's getting was, up there. In age. Do you know what I'm saying? Like Jordan was calling that he wasn't going to be a top ten. Gosh, that guy's. I'm going to be a year early on that. I just yeah, no, but like, but do you get what I'm saying though, Jordan? Like yeah. what, what is he feeling like if they're just if Malik house, Willis is the quarterback next year? I might double down on the Derrick Henry yeah. take. <laughs> Uh, or, that, or, yeah, or that could just be way more volume, Jordan. But they're going to literally put 10 people in the box. Yeah. They're going to bring both safeties down. They're going to let the receivers go one-on-one with the two corners. And mm-hmm. Yeah, true. that's 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 a weird... That's Malik a weird Willis look. can't throw. Yeah, that's the problem. It's definitely I believe in him. He went to Liberty. He's got he's got it. But... You want to you want to get the running backs here. I, I, I'm looking at some interesting stuff here with running backs. I don't know if there's anyone else like Matt Ryan might be a guy who gets let go. Does he go to a different team? You know, with maybe the quarterbacks? he needs to go go coach high school football next year. <laughs> who is this, <laughs> Matt Ryan? <laughs> uh, so I mean, it, it, am I am I wrong? Like the guy's yeah. the guy needs to be done. Yeah, he's. Um, I'm not going to repeat. Uh, what I've said in the past about Matt Ryan because I like him. Uh, yeah, what is he like? Where does he go from here? But it's like well, same thing with. I mean, Tannehill didn't have nearly as an accomplished career as as Matt Ryan did. But like Matt Ryan, he is he gonna just go back up someone? Like, what is he gonna do? Yeah, Tannehill never had like a great season. I didn't feel like at the Dolphins though. Then he had he had some okay seasons in Tennessee when they had AJ yeah, Brown and stuff. For sure. But I also like I don't th- our team's going to be like aggressively going after Tannehill even to back someone up. No, you know that's what I'm saying. Anyhow, no, I agree with you, Matt Ryan. What's this? Uh, like we can keep moving on here. Yeah, I, it, we kind of touched on quarterbacks last week, but running backs, just some guys that could be looking for a new spot. Saquon, it's not Barkley. a great. It's very top heavy. Like Saquon, I'm looking at Saquon, Kareem Hunt. Yeah, is Miles Sanders kind of a guy? Shod that, Penny. I don't see. Where do you see the Miles Sanders I, I saw at? That somewhere. I, I, this internet thing. It's scary, Jordan. I just, I just find. I don't think he's a free agent, Trent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just. <laughs> I, I don't know if he was a cap cut guy or something. The internet is seen. scary, but um, definitely scary. Let me see. Um, oh no, he is a free agent. Okay, he is. But why is this? This thing doesn't happen as a free agent. You're not talking. You're not talking about. You're talking about Saquon, right? No, he's talking about Miles Sanders. Oh, okay. Spot track doesn't have him as a li- on the list of free agents. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't. That's bizarre. Yeah. Like I'm seeing here, Leonard Fournette could potentially be a running back that got cut. He might just be a you know hired hand that goes somewhere that he thinks could win a ring. You know, I could see maybe he's just someone they put to back up Christian McCaffrey or something. I, I, I don't know. Like he he doesn't got a lot of tread left on the tires, right? Uh Saquon Barkley, there's some ru- there's a lot of rumors of what he'll do. I feel like they're going to just franchise. They can't franchise tag Saquon and Daniel no, Jones. No, it's just one, one player. Right? Can only do I, one. And I think if they were going to do it, they wouldn't do Daniel Jones. I think it's Saquon is who they'll franchise. If they were to. Yeah. Yeah. And then Josh Jacobs is another guy. I think he's going to get franchise tagged. Yeah, potentially. Something, yeah. something I, I'm looking at is wrong because it doesn't have Jacobs or um, – Oh, yeah, Jacobs here, yeah. Franchise tag, I think the most valuable time to do that is when like an unexpected guy kind of goes off. You know, you get that another year where you can be like, hey, is this a really good guy? You know, we'll get one more like kind of a free little rental deal out of him rather than paying him top dollar just after a, you know, contract season. Uh, I was trying to look. I mean, if they they got rid of Saquon, I wonder if they go after Bajan. I just trying to figure out because they could that could fall to them, right? right? I just didn't. I needed to see their draft order, and honestly, I neglected to look. That Trent, up. or is uh, the Cowboys going to re-sign Tony Pollard? He's another guy I think might get franchise tag, but I don't. That's what's difficult. That's a lot. With, that'd be that's a lot of money to franchise tag Tony Pollard. But yeah, well, and, and he's injured. He got I, injured going up. They out. might franchise tag Dalton Schultz again. You know, we haven't gotten to the tight end talk yet, but he's a top tight end that you could go get. They just franchise tagged him this last year. I don't know if they would do that again. They they'll probably go after Pollard with a long contract deal, is what I'm guessing, and maybe front load it kind of like. What's in the Zeke? What's the deal with Zeke? He is or isn't a free agent? I don't think he's a free agent, but I think they can they restructure him. him or cut him, and they'll say. You saw the money. Packers did a restructured deal with Aaron Jones. I saw that too. Yeah. Um, 
What? So there's some interesting other interesting running backs here. I don't know. I for, I didn't look to see who you all have. Who you have here, Trent? You got. Yeah, another couple other guys. I'm looking. I'm just looking at the list here. Uh, Alexander Madison. That's an interesting one with the with the uh, they do with him because he, he, we've seen him look good in times when there's no Dalvin Cook and yeah, Dal- yeah, he could be a guy that. Man, I don't know where you would have Alexander Madison go. Like maybe like. I don't know. Yeah, I know. What about Cleveland? Something like Cleveland? Maybe. Cause it's because it's Kareem Hunt coming back. I don't think Hunt's no, going to come back. No Where, way. Where's the best spot for Hunt to go? You think he goes back to Kansas City? And McKinnon's a free agent too. He is. So if Kareem Hunt left, I, I don't think that Madison would be a bad move. It, like in a place like well, that. We also it's have. It's hard to pay a backup running back, you know? Well, like, I don't think they would pay him, but I think they would pick him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, You also have Damian Harris, who had a pretty solid. I mean, he's had good years with the Patriots. David Montgomery's a free agent. I see Rashad Penny's a free agent, but like, is Rashad Penny going to be playing next year? Like, yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I would think so. He look. I I don't know what the status of his injury, but he had a pretty good season. I'm seeing poten- Mostert. Mostert's a free agent. I'm seeing potential cap cut. Joe Mixon could save the Bengals yeah. some good money. Jamal Williams, uh, Phil's favorite running back. I bet yeah. the I bet the Bengals cut Mixon and they pick up one of these guys we just talked about, I think you're like right. a Madison. But or we a, also have to take this into consideration that this is a very, very pretty good running back class coming in the draft. Yeah, you got maybe one of the best running back prospects of all time, and what uh, Bijan? Yeah, is that an exaggeration, Phil? Say it again. I'm sorry. One of the best running back prospects and all of all time, and Bijan. Yeah, I, I mean he, he. Have you tried his Bijan mustard, Phil? <laughs> is that is that a thing? Yeah, he had an NIL Bijan <laughs> Bijan mustard deal. Dude, the guy is insane, man. He's so fun he's to watch. He's really good. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's you got Jameer Gibbs from Alabama, you got Charbonnet, Sean Tucker, Devin uh a Con- a a chain is it a chain, Devin A chain, um Tank Bisbee from Auburn. It's it's a really good like running back class which I think is going to affect Definitely. Definitely when does it, when Jordan. does free agency start, Trent? Oh, I have it in my calendar. It is. Give me just a second here. It is March. I just got go to. The problem month. is we did this exact same thing last year. I, I'm not finding it right now. I feel like it's second week of March or something. So well, it is March 22nd. March, I oh, I have March 15th, Trent. It's just going to be very interesting because okay. man, you got a guy like Mo Ibrahim who was really good in college, is the 15th ranked running back in the class. Like, it's a really good running back class. It's a deep running back class. Every team should just take a Deuce dart, Vaughn third, third at seventeen. Run, yeah. Every team should take a third round running back. Yeah, it's a good. It's a really a pretty solid um, running back class, and so it's like I bet Deuce Vaughn goes to the Chiefs. Yeah, that's a good spot. That, that's a good. I think that's a good spot to put. Deuce. That would be. I love that Deuce would be. Vaughn. Yeah, I also think so a guy fun. like Jameer Gibbs would do really well. Yeah, I have March fifteenth. That I don't. Anyways, we don't need to go to draft. I'm just saying that like Deuce Vaughn is kind of a. But like, why he's too small is, is going to be yeah. the issue. But like, I might be taller than he's that like guy, a Darren Sproul. Enough. Darren Sproul's type, yeah, is same a, college and everything. But I guess my question is, how does that affect the market for running backs? When like you know, like you can get good running backs in the draft. Why are you going to spend money on running backs? Because you kind of know what you have already. Yeah, um, with the Saquons. Yeah. But like, what's the point of? Let me go back to some of these guys that we're talking about, like a a Montgomery, David Montgomery. Why? Like, what is the point? Like, and even as much as we all love Jamal Williams, like, I think Lions bring Jamal back. Okay, I, I think I just think he's a leader in that locker room. I think the city really likes him. I don't think he's going to go anywhere else. I'm wondering if he'll take a little bit of a cut. I don't know. They have to have a guy like I almost would. I don't know. Or I, like, or like a guy like Devin Singletary. Why would anyone sign yeah, Zev, Devin Singletary when they can just go draft a running back? Yeah. True. What like what what do you and if you're let's just say you're an NFL team and you're focused on draft, obviously there's maybe one or two quarterbacks you're really going after, but really more like I mean, for fantasy relevancy, who are you picking? Who are we getting high in that? Would you say receivers late? Sorry, say it again. Yeah, it was a weirdly asked question. It, it, what it, it was fun. what I'm saying is like we're looking at the draft coming up, right? Really, we're only seeing skilled players, wide receivers, things like that, coming late, fantasy relevant. Do you get what I'm saying? I guess maybe running backs, too. It just depends on the situations they get put in with running backs. I think it's easier for wide receivers to become fantasy relevant as rookies yep. right away. 
But then you also have some running backs right away. Like Brees Hall and, and uh, Damian Pierce are well on their way to being very fancy relevant as rookies, and they got hurt. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I really... Yeah, I think it's a pretty solid running back class. And so coming out of the draft, so I'm just curious and we how that affects one. what that affects the market. Who do you think is trying? If you were an NFL GM, who is the running back that you would want the most? Like, man, you can even include like what you're going to be able to like point like do you, per dollar. Also, like like their value per like their contract. Do you, like, do you think Barkley walks and gets a good deal? I, I guess they could probably are going to franchise tag him. I don't think Barkley's leaving. Yeah, I, I think they're gonna. Outside of Saquon, who's your who would be the running back maybe, that you would resign? Maybe Kareem Hunt over I, Josh Jacobs. I think so, but man, Josh, usually guys that get that kind of a workload like Josh Jacobs, like I actually was kind of high on him last year. Like I thought contract year he might be good. I don't see him bouncing back and having that season. Like Kareem Hunt was unhappy in Cleveland, kind of wanted to get traded. They wouldn't let him. I I could see him. I feel like he has a little bit more in the tank. Like. He hasn't been used. Like he's kind of been put on the shelf. Maybe yeah. he has a good year or two mm. left in him. Uh, I wouldn't mind like a Tony Pollard, Kareem Hunt backfield, yeah, or like that, a Kareem Hunt insane. backing up uh, CMC, or maybe Kareem Hunt to the Chargers with Eckler. Maybe have both of those guys. I I don't know. I'm just thinking of. That'd be kind. Of, well, also, I mean, I could see the Jets taking one of these guys. Yeah, but with Brees Hall, with Brees Hall, just to have another, another guy, guy, just that, depth. I don't think. Well, with, they also have who? Uh, sorry, who's just that ex- running back that they had from the Jags that they just got? Oh, uh, James Robinson. They have James yeah. Robinson. I, I He's just, a free agent. Yeah, I, I, I just, just saw. I just think when you extend this season, you're going to need more running backs than what you think, yeah. and you got the longevity of having you know a fresh horse in there to. Well, how about the Saints? Who knows what's going to happen that running? We back don't know what's Alvin happening Kamara. with Alvin Kamara, Jordan. Like that could be. Yeah. Like, I mean, that doesn't look good. I think the video just came out last week, right? Or did it come out two weeks ago? Uh, Jordan, you know when the video Like the came full out? video? Oh, I just saw the, I just, someone posted it. I, I, saw, I it. saw a video last year. Oh, okay. I had not seen but, that. But there's, I think there's more. So that's going to be an interesting situation. Oh, and I think it. it's coming out now because the, maybe the court case is no, Well, no, out? there's another video that came out of Kamara saying, like, I got that guy really good or something. Oh, that's yeah. That's the video you're talking uh, about. So, yeah, yeah but the, the case is probably coming up. Too. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Alvin Kamara is going to get a pretty hefty suspension. So yeah. it'll, it'll be interesting to see what goes on in that backfield, too. Like, that's also true. Like, that one could be kind of interesting there. They have no one. They had Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara. Yeah. yeah. And they don't have any draft he, picks, right? No, they did not have draft picks. They're yeah. messed up. The Eagles have all their draft picks, I think. Hmm. They're they're messed up. I can't wait to do our uh, first round mock draft coming yeah, up. Yeah, that, that's always a fun draft one. Draft season's coming up. Uh wanna hop into wide receivers real quick here. You know, we've done some running backs for a while. We can come back if something comes to mind. But before we get into wide receivers, today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped has the new Boxers 2.0, and their mission was simple. Make the most comfortable boxers a man could buy. It starts with the pouch, a dedicated space that you know just cradles you nicely. Uh, performance fabric for extra breathability, cut from micro model with anti-chafing anti-chaf- smooth flat lock seams. We made they made their boxers so comfortable and so supportive they feel like a second skin. It is a very nice no tag uh, fly opening, and uh, yeah, 05 percent nylon machine wash, cold line dry imported material. It's a good deal. Go check out those boxers. Enter promo code dudes twenty for twenty percent off. Really helps your favorite dudes out. And also they have that new beard. It's the official sha- the official beard shaver of the dudes and the UFC. So again, go to manscape.com and uh yeah, let's get into the wide receivers here, guys. Uh yeah, at Manscaped, there's that's the dude's favorite place for all our grooming products. Like I said, DJ Shark. I feel like the Lions might make a couple free agency splashes, maybe this this offseason, maybe to bolster the defense or whatever. Do you think DJ Shark comes back, Jordan? Do you think he kind of goes and tests the open waters? I think with He the, had a pretty solid year and I think the emergence of J- okay, emergence of Jamison Williams yeah. doesn't make him leave. I think he will leave, but you never know. You think uh, like Jarvis Landry maybe goes to like the Bears? <sighs> they got to get something. He's a possession receiver. I know he didn't have a great season at the Saints. I could see him, he's kind of a journeyman. I could see him going to Chicago. 
You know, they might be able to get him for a decent price, just a solid veteran in that room for Justin Fields. I don't know. I know that's not something that, like, Chicago's, like, that's not what they're looking for, but I think that's a good, solid guy there that they yeah. might be able to get for a decent price. Other guys, we got Juju Smith-Schuster. Juju. I think he signs in Kansas City for cheap and comes back, or you think he... It's possible. I mean, again, he didn't have a great year, so it's like... And that was the place that we thought he would have a good year, you know, yeah. where that would, because he had such a solid rookie year. And then Odell, or not Odell, Antonio Brown came after him and said he was overrated, wasn't that good, that he created all his opportunities. And it was like, wow, that's kind of a jerk thing to do. But he yeah. hasn't really been the same since that happened. So you're saying AB was right? Maybe. And even though Maybe. he had AB's back when AB got lit up, he came yeah, and helped was, him out. Yeah, it was a messed up, it was a weird deal. That whole pack, that whole Steelers crew was just. I wish this thing was going. Le'Veon on Bell, the whole, yeah, Le- Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, just an w- interesting bunch. Uh, some other guy, Jacoby Myers. I'm seeing free agent Jacoby Myers. He was good this year. He had 800, 800 yards and six touchdowns. Yeah, teams that need receivers. We got Titans, Packers, Bears, and Ravens are the main ones that could really use it. Like everybody yeah. probably could use another wide receiver, but those are kind of the main ones I'm thinking here at the top. Al, Al Lazard's another one, solid. There's no like big name, big play receivers in the. I mean, Odell Beckham Jr. is still out yeah. there. <laughs> Darius, like, there's no like number one. I think there's a bunch yeah, of like yeah, that's the thing. There's, there's no a bunch other... of secondary guys that that you're not really excited about. Yeah, like you're like, hey, my team signed Jacoby Myers, solid number two, num- number two receiver. Like, I know he was number one on the Patriots, but that's not saying much. So, and Alan Lazard was sort of the number one on the Packers again, but like, like that's what I'm, it, I, I'm agreeing with. Yeah, you. and yeah. it's just like, but those are not guys. It's like, hey, yeah. they're yeah, they're the number one receiver on a Super Bowl winning team. Like, it's probably. The, you say the Chiefs. The Chiefs need to add a receiver too. Chiefs. I, I didn't throw the Chiefs. Those were kind of the top four that I thought. Chief, really I could argue one. Chiefs need to be way up there too. You think so, but I also think the Chiefs are going to go either trade for somebody or I think they're going to try to is, draft. Is or, this the year that the people who draft Travis Kelsey are sorry for it? You know what I mean? Like I've said it the last two years. I need to take Travis Kelsey in the first round. You have to be at the back end of the draft. I feel like to do it though, but. I, he's hard to pass up in the first round. Like I think he's got another year in him to really, ex- yeah, I would say especially so. if they don't get another wide receiver to add there, right? So that's such a good point. I mean, he had this this year. He had like maybe three bad games, but everything else he was really. Yeah, he still finished like top ten for wide receivers, I believe. Like, yeah, no, he probably had, he higher was, up. Yeah, for sure. So, I don't. I, like I want to throw the Dallas in there, but I think there's other teams that really need, and this isn't a great wide receiver. It's not, class. and they may again like, are you gonna, you would you rather sign Jarvis Landry or just draft a receiver in the second round? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, like you're not going to get excited about Jarvis Landry, but he's probably going to be fine. Yeah, he's going to be fine. I don't know. I, I free agency in the NFL is hard. Is because Ke- is Keenan Allen kind of on his? I don't think he's a free he's agent. He's not a free he's agent. He's not a free agent, but he might be a cap cut guy. Maybe. I, I, I read, don't know. Like, um, but, like, I just, I guess my point is, like, man, Juju had almost 1,000 yards this year. 78 catches, 933 yards, and three touchdowns. Yeah, that's his second best in terms of yardage and third best in receptions. Yeah. I, I guess I, uh, I just, like, what, what, do teams? What's the upside a team has in, in signing one of these free agents compared to just drafting guys in the second and third round? Like I feel like it's cheaper, and I think it's just you knowing what you have rather than these, the mystery. With this receiver class, though, there's just not that out there, right? Like there's no guys. It's like, yes, I want that guy on my team. Yeah, but and I think who do you think gets the most money? Who gets that Christian Kirk contract that's everyone's just like, oh, man. <laughs> that's that's a good point there. Uh, I think it's going to be – I think Jacoby Myers makes a lot of sense. I think Jacoby Myers could be the guy that people are like, whoa, that's a yeah, lot of money for that guy. because he's had a good season. He's had a good Patriots. season. He's only 20 – he's 26 years old. Uh, he had 800 yards, six touchdowns with Mac Jones last year. What about this, Jordan, DJ Shark to the Chiefs? I like that a lot. That'd be an interesting one there. I I know you're a shark guy. I like shark. You know he carried me basically in a fantasy season. That's actually a one years that ago. makes the yeah fun offense. It might be the Chiefs will get somebody and they'll probably get a decent deal on a wide receiver. Like I could see them getting shark for 
pretty good money. Uh, maybe that, that's the one that makes pretty good sense to me. And Robert Woods is a free agent now. No, that, that's like yeah, I mean, he's deal, like in the like, Jarvis Landry category. Yeah, maybe yeah, the Marvin st- Jones category. Like I think guys Robert Woods goes like, back to LA. That is a maybe, possibility. Maybe, I guess. It's possible. Because he knows the... And I think if you're Jarek McKinnon or Juju Smith-Schuster, you're probably feeling better if you're Juju Smith-Schuster about getting re-signed on the Chiefs. Yeah. I, yeah. So McCole Hardman's a free agent. I doubt the Chiefs bring him back. Yeah, what about... Yeah, he's been... There was, there's, he's been such a hype piece like the last couple of years. Like yep. they just always have been like, "Hey, Miko Hardman, fat was he faster than Tyreek Hill? He had all the Tyreek Hill comps." Yep. Uh, yeah, you threw me off right there. I had one that I wanted to say there, Jordan. It just slipped my mind. I can't remember what it was. Jared, is Clyde Edwards a lair? Is he going to be a free agent, or is he just going to get no cut? Idea. Probably he, just. Could cut. you see him going somewhere and actually having a decent, like maybe he just that was like he was like hand picked for Patrick Mahomes in yeah, Kansas City, and it just did not work out. He's no good. Yeah. Um, could see him going to the Bengals with Burrow and Chase though, if they get rid of Mixon, get the whole LSU squad back yeah. together. Well, Mixon's potentially on the chopping block now, yeah, just to save some money. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. release him. I could see Joe Burrow being like, hey, I want to bring a CH in here. Probably move in next door to like Chase and like Burrow Kentucky also, or yeah. whatever. Who knows? Uh, Kentucky. Yeah, why do you say it, Kentucky? Because it's, they're in Cincinnati. Like a lot of people live in Kentucky. Oh, yeah, Kentucky. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think, I don't think Burrow does, though. And uh, I think most, most players live in uh, Kentucky. Yeah, and just they, a good, just a you know, I'm I'm a uh, you know human interest. Story. I, I would love to see how many guys live in Kentucky during the. <laughs> do you do you know? Do you realize just at, just out of geography, what's the state south of Ohio? Just south of it, I, I think it's up. I think it's Kentucky. Yeah, it, but, but, well, but like, what city is there in Kentucky that is Lexington right there? No, they're right across the river. They're literally right yeah, across. Yeah. Cincinnati is very close to Kentucky. Yeah, I think. Okay. Trent's making the drive, it seem like the drive to Louisville is I, like. I'm just an pretty hour. sure that like Joe Burrow like grew up like minutes outside of Cincinnati. I bet he lives like in Ohio. Look up where does Joe Burrow live? Where does Joe Burrow? If he, it's Kentucky, egg bet straight up. Okay. But I don't All lose right. anything. No, no, it's Athens, Ohio. All right. Like, you don't remember the deal where Jamar Chase, like, went to neighbor to neighbor trying to figure out how to get a house next to Joe Burrow, and he finally got somebody that said yes and sold him their house? I believe but you. That's why I said that. Just to- I don't think he lives in Athens, though, for what it's worth. Athens is is pretty far from Cincinnati, Trent. I just, the top thing on Google, where does Joe Burrow live? Yeah, there's no says, way he lives in what Athens. What city does Joe Burrow live in now? Athens, Athens is far from Cincinnati. Maybe that's where he lives during the off season. Yeah, maybe. He still lives with his parents. Really? Yeah, that's what it says. In Athens, Ohio. Probably in the off season, huh? Yep. All right, well, thank you for that human interest story, Phil. Before we get into this... uh <laughs> You know, we had dad moves that's been coming up. Uh, you know, the fantasy football dad, he's now with Belly Up Sports, but that he's got an article coming out here pretty soon. Go check that out. Uh, we've appreciated all he's done to help the pod grow and all that stuff. Uh, once a dude, always a dude. That's what you always say, Phil. But anyways, let's get into the tight ends here. Top tight ends, we have Dalton Schultz, Evan Ingram, Mike Gusecki. Jordan, what do you, you want Ingram back in Jacksonville? I do, I do, but I just... That's, I've been seeing a lot of stuff on, on the social media and Twitter machine that he's going to cost a lot of money. Well, that's tight ends the easiest position to franchise tag because that's yeah. the one people don't want to reset the market for. And it's cheaper too. Yeah, and he hasn't had like he finally had a season. It didn't even have a season. He had like a final like four good games really, you know. So I bet they do franchise tag him and uh, see how that goes because. I don't, their cap space pretty good in Jacksonville. Like I know they've been well, paying guys. Yeah, they, they still got Lawrence on a rookie contract. That helps, right? Yeah. And let's see here, Jaguars salary cap. They are yeah, they're over the cap right now. Okay. I think Gasecki's not going to resign in Miami. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I, think I bet so. he goes. I, I have no idea. Maybe he goes to like tight ends are hard. I don't know. I just but Gasecki's one of those athletes that can make plays, and he just wasn't like he was pretty much only a red zone option this year. They don't use the tight end yeah, that I know. much. Yeah, so I I could see him going. 
He was tweeting at Caleb Williams, though, because Caleb Williams said he yeah, wanted to come to Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. I didn't see what he said. What did he say? I think Caleb Williams was like, I would like to go to Miami or something like that. And then he was just like, uh, my lease is up on my condo. Like, let me know what I should do. <laughs> or like something like that, like where he's like kind of open to Caleb Williams going that's to Miami. Funny. Which I was like, that's kind of funny that Jacecki would say that, seeing as how you would think he would be boys with Tua. But. Yeah. Uh, maybe he goes like, but the thing is, Baltimore doesn't use, or not Baltimore, I'm sorry. Cincinnati doesn't use tight ends that much either. Like, it's they use their receivers, and then their tight ends, they get a pass every once yeah. in a while. So He could be one of the 19 tight ends that the Seahawks have every single year. <laughs> <laughs> he could, Phil. He very well could be. Uh, any, any other tight end guys come on? I think uh, tight end's hard, tight man. Tight real hard. It's a, yeah, it's a, it's Schultz a, and Ingram, though, those are two guys that are pretty pretty important to their team's success offensively this yeah, year. I don't know what Dallas is going to do with Ingram. He just is coming off the franchise tag. I think they yeah. can do it one more time, right? I don't know if yeah, they, they will, Yeah, they can do though. it twice. It's weird to do a tight end twice. Uh, yeah, that's true. All right, you guys want to hop into some divas here, and we'll wrap oh, this man, show I got to think of a diva here. Phil, do you have a diva? I, Phil had a really easy diva for us last, you know, uh, just all day yesterday, him debating whether he was going to go to the game or not. Could have been a really good I know. Diva. I, I know. was kind of Did you hear about that? No, I didn't I hear about that. All right. So this is my, this is, maybe I'm the diva. So I committed to you that I was going to go to the game. Uh-huh. Didn't I tell you? I was like, yeah, I'll go to the game. You you said, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to the game is how okay. you phrased it. And then I was like, Trent was like hyping up how big the crowds are going to be. And I'm like a pretty, you know, I don't know what type of person you would describe me as, but I'm not like a, I don't hate crowds, but I'm just like, I don't look forward to standing in lines, basically what I was going to say. The line at the game, Jordan, was extremely long. I heard that, yeah. That's Thankfully, what I heard. Trent bought my ticket. I Venmoed him some money, oh, okay. so he bought my ticket for me. And then you had to wait in line to get into the stadium. I heard it was a mess. It was a nightmare. Yeah, Absolutely. and then one line only took cash. Or no, one line took cash. The other one didn't. It only took card. You have a bunch of high school kids that's that like, don't have credit cards. That's and they're like, like basically tallying. That's like borderline right. diva-ish right there is that yeah. people can't figure out like how to... You have an event coming on. Like I heard that there's people who didn't get their into the door till second half, like end of halftime. That would not be because, and they paid for a ticket for the game. Like that's well, no. And then I heard Ticketmaster was charging like over ten dollars per transaction. Yeah, I saw that Ticketmaster was like sixty five bucks. That that's almost diva. That you know what? Can we just make my diva? Yeah, sure, go for it. Diva go is like him. the online ticketing thing, the service fees. Oh, it's terrible. It, it's that, terrible. That, it's ridiculous. Um, I saw it was four- how much money does a service fee actually cho- cost? So it them? was it was fourteen dollars yeah. at the door, right? Yeah, yeah. fourteen bucks at the door. Fourteen dollars. I went on Ticketmaster just to see because I saw somewhere saying that it was this amount of much money, and, you're like, and, and that guy's been it. known to exaggerate things. So okay. I wanted to go and check it myself. He said it was like eighty-seven bucks, and I'm like, okay, I it seems. Low. I went two tickets, sixty-five bucks. Yeah, and the tickets two are tickets. Only, yeah, and the tickets, tickets. are fourteen dollars. So a there's piece. a thirty dollar up charge. Yeah, fifteen dollars a piece extra, like double the. You're telling me it's fifteen dollars service fee for Ticketmaster? That's yeah. insane. that's insane. Yeah, it can't be. Yeah, it's it's a it's a that's joke. insane. Ticketmaster's like, bad. I understand you. They have to oh, make yeah, they I, have I to make know, money, but. but three bucks is good enough. Like, oh yeah, you can't charge a higher service fee than what the ticket actually costs. No, it's, it's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, that's like ridiculous. these ticket companies are are very are the divas. Like yeah. because they are overcharging, upsell and taking money that this it's ridiculous. Like they shouldn't like. Oh, it was so for bad. high school basketball championships. Oh yeah, it's 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 fifteen dollars. That's ridiculous. And it's really thirty bucks a ticket when it breaks out to like the service yeah. fee and like everything else. Yeah. So it's fourteen dollars at the door, and you're gonna why one? Why would anyone do that? I don't really understand. It's because those people just don't understand. Like uh-huh. they don't. You know, they don't know that you can buy. I didn't know you buy tickets at the door. I thought you. Yeah. I was like, I think if I you asked were a, if you were chat. a parent though, Phil, and your kids in there, and you're like, I'm not going to get into the game till the second half. I'm just going to buy them right now online. Oh yeah, you know it. It was ridiculous though the line to get in. It was terrible. You're going through a metal detector and all kinds of stuff, and the people there, it's like. I don't know. I felt like I should just do my duty and go direct traffic. You know, like hey, yeah. just and that was probably the game that had the most. Starting with the art, the Kingsburg game was the one, and then all through the night was the most packed game. Oh, kept so, getting like, bigger. Just kept getting more people there, and I think people came for the Kingsburg game because they're like, "Hey, that should be a good solid game." 
And then we'll just stay for the the two Division One girls, Division One boys later that night. Was there? I said that there was five hundred people. That's way low. Maybe it's like two thousand. You think? I think there's a couple. I saw some pictures, and I'm like, man, there's a lot. There was a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Second half of the game, there was a good amount of people in that stadium. Yeah. So my diva is basically like, yeah, that was it. But then I was also like back and forth. I was like, can I watch this online? Like trying to figure out ways that I could support the other you thing while is, is also like not he, being there. Yeah, yeah. The other thing is if he would have done it online, it would have cost him 20 bucks to do NFHS for a month. And knowing him, he probably would have forgot to cancel it. So it <laughs> yeah. so like another 40. Yeah. 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 So I'm $60 into this, into this support. I could have just put, actually it might've been cheaper just to do that with the gas prices the way they are. Well, no. And he's like, Hey, uh, what did he say? He's like, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna go. And I was like, I, he's like, what do you think? I was like, I honestly don't want you to go just so we can make fun of you on the pod. <laughs> and then I was like, Trent, I need you to be the angel on my shoulder. What should I do here? No, I didn't say that. Actually, maybe I did. Uh, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. And then I ended up going. I went a little bit early, you know. Checked out uh, downtown Fresno. Nice little uh, scenic route there. Uh, I don't know what's my diva out of all that. I think my diva is. People who commit to say they're going to do something and then then question whether or not they're going to do it. So basically, myself, I was just like basically. Phil said yes in case something, and but was hoping something better would come up. No, there was other options that presented themselves. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. You know, I could, actually there was no options. <laughs> no options. He was praying for other options. Stupid. No, but it, it literally like the you get off the freeway and there was already a line of cars. Yeah. So Jordan, get this. You didn't have to pay. It was ten dollars to park if you didn't realize that you could. Did park you pay for parking? No. Okay. Ten dollars to park unless you you didn't realize you could pay on the street for free. Yeah. Then let's say you paid that ten bucks. Let's say you did the Ticketmaster thing and you're paying fifteen bucks a ticket. You're looking at twenty five bucks a ticket just for no, no more no, than that. The Ticketmaster is thirty dollars. Yeah. So it'd have been you're at forty dollars a ticket if you came if it was just like me. Then you have to wait in line to get into the actual yeah. arena. And it was like the lines were just like I was like, man, this thing is like I, I I you know it's I will say this. If you are someone who like, hey, I'm just gonna I'm a basketball fan, I'm just gonna go for the whole day, I'm gonna go at like noon and stay till the last game. It's a hundred percent worth worth your money because yeah. you're paying fourteen bucks for a whole day of basketball, you know. And you can we're all smart and find out parking on the street for free. So yeah. Um, but yeah, no. If it, it it is price like if you're taking a, your whole family of like you have like three teenage kids and two adults, like that's five adult tickets or two three students. That's what's ten thirty. You're upwards of almost sixty bucks to go watch a high school basketball game. Yeah, for a family of five, and I get that, but. Also, I think most, but it's also you are that money is going to the for those kids can have a nice experience, you know, yeah, yeah. for their for their Valley Championship that. game. Yeah. But no, it's expensive. The Ticketmaster thing though is crazy to me. Oh, absolutely. All right, my my diva of the week here. Uh, you know, we talk about gas prices and stuff every once in a while. Sure. How do we pay for you know nice roads? I'm not saying California has good roads. How do we pay for that, Jordan? As Californians, how do we pay for nice taxes? Roads? Okay, so my diva of the week is electric cars. <laughs> do they pay for the roads? I'm not saying I'm anti-electric car, but that's my road. I, I, my gas money goes to nice roads. Is it only gas roads. tax that pays for the roads? I don't think it's just gas tax. So are electric, so are electric cars paying for the taxes? The gas, the taxes to ride on that road. Yes. How? Because it's not just the gas tax. What's the majority goes- of it though? Of the gas tax? Yeah, it doesn't go to fixing roads. Um, I don't know. We get taxed so much for gas, it's hard. It's hard to, to say. know, but I also think a lot of it has to do with like environmental stuff. Okay, yeah, but I don't think that electric cars are paying to be on the road. So, is your diva electric cars or the electric road taxes? Cars, electric cars. Electric cars. I'm sure someday we'll find a way to tax. Well, them, when they first right started now, getting popular, they always got to go in the car. We don't have a carpool lane here where we're at, but they always got to go to the carpool lane individually. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I was pretty sure. Uh, that- Trent's pretty right. It says California relies on gas tax and other fuel tax revenues to fund its roadway maintenance and repairs. So we have all these electric cars. Where do you draw the line? Prius? No, I, I don't care about electric cars. I'm just saying, and I'm also like not a huge like tax person guy, but it's like, hey, I pay my taxes for this road. They need to have their own freeway. Get the electric cars off the road, help free traffic, <laughs> give them their own freeway they're to so, whatever. There's says, so few of them, though. You would not oh, realize the difference. There's more and oh, more Jordan's, every year. Jordan's, Jordan's this, backtracking. This may actually make Trent more mad. Like, his, 
<laughs> this, oh, this next get thing, him, about to get flip him. a table. <laughs> it says, as cars get more fuel efficient or use other energy resources, the gas tax will no longer fund the infrastructure California needs. California is researching a potential gas tax replacement My, per mile. a sustainable and equitable road charge. A road charge is a user pay system where all drivers pay to maintain the roads based on how much they drive rather than how much gas they purchase. Yeah. Oh, that's great for me. Yeah, it's going to make good, all... It's good for me too, but... Yeah, like, but you know where they're going to get you? Is all your supplies you get from trucks is going to be more because they're going to have to pay for their... They're going to have yeah, to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all... Groceries. Yeah. Yeah. So so electric... What would it, I mean, you know... Electric, I, I, I was saving this for tax season. I was going to just say taxes is my... We are in tax wait. season. <laughs> but, but like I was going to wait till oh, like it came oh, yeah, out. Yeah. But taxes, we get taxed on money we make tax on money we spend, and tax on things you own that you've already been taxed on. Yeah, multiple tax is what you're saying. Yeah, multiple tax. So We need to get a CPA in here and just yeah. so So basically, um, your diva's the founding fathers of the United States, <laughs> Trent? <laughs> no, they'd be rolling over in their graves. They, they threw a bunch of tea in the ocean, Jordan, for you know a slight tax. Trust me. So yeah, that, that's... I think there were harsher taxes than what you just <laughs> yeah, described. But I think yeah. they were like... like over like fifty percent tax of what the <laughs> like tea was a dollar and they're paying like dollar seventy five seventy five cents in tax. I think we're close. I feel like we're close, guys. So so electric cars or the or the tax. No, I'll, I'll just I'll just put it all together. Taxes. Yeah. 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 Trenches. Taxes. taxes. Why don't you get an electric car and just really be like, you can point at Jordan and me and be like, you're paying for me to drive on this road. Unfortunately, stick to the man, Trent. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. That's the real answer for you to be less mad. You no, know but, but do you know how much it costs your electric bill to charge a car at your house? It's not cheap. It's not, yeah. It's, it's not the, cheap. Yeah. I I don't know if how good this is. A guy told me unless you have solar, it's not worth it to charge. No, you have car. to go charge it at the uh, charging yeah. stations. And I but don't, then you still pay for those. Though. Though you still pay. Yeah, you pay. Yeah. Well, unless it's the... I cheaper think, than gas, though. Yeah. It is cheaper than gas. Trent, for what it's worth, your wife is going to tell you that diva uh, ta uh, taxes are not qualified. Do not qualify as a diva. It's true. It's true. I need to look up the noun of like what a yes. diva is. Yeah. 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 She told me I was a diva because I don't like reading instructions. She said people don't read instructions. I do you read instructions, Phil? I'm always going to try to get something done before reading the instructions. If it's an IKEA, if it's an IKEA oh. desk, I always read the instructions. I I could. I'll save that my IKEA story for next week. Oh yeah, no IKEA I IKEA stuff. You gotta you gotta read the instructions. I would say most things. You know what, Trent? I think I was at one point. You know, when I was your age, I probably didn't read a lot of instructions. But at some point, you're, along you're, the two, line, you're two years older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere along the line, I realized if I don't read instructions, I'm gonna be 45 minutes into this deal and I'm gonna have to start over. No, no, that that's true, Phil. But there's always that possibility. That, that you, you save, save 45 time, minutes. No. Not the, instructions. the risk is not <laughs> worth the reward. No, no, no. I feel like I can do anything without instructions and except Legos. I <laughs> I will attempt to do anything without instructions <laughs> besides Legos. Then I'm probably going to go back and watch a YouTube video. <laughs> I also had to show you how to lay grass because you wouldn't read instructions. <laughs> That's true. I didn't watch it. It wasn't like show. It was more of like, hey, oh, so help so me. you'll do. I, yeah, I'm just messing around. But the you you'll watch a YouTube video over. Okay, that's yeah. different. Yes, yeah, so but I'm going to try. I'm of going to try to do it first before. Oh, okay. All right. Well. Yeah. Board games and Legos. That's where I draw the line. But uh, is there anything else? I, I know this has kind of been all over the place, guys. Yeah. It's off season. Been a fun one. Uh, we don't have a draft this week. Sorry about that. We'll be coming to you with the draft soon or the following. Wednesday on YouTube. Remember to share us with a friend. Really helps us out. Five star rating and review. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at TFF Dudes. And am I forgetting anything, guys? I forgot something last week, and you guys lit me up after. Oh no! We just uh, go do that underdog. Underdog. Go do underdog. Code. Yeah. Yeah. Promo code dudes. Also check out Manscape. Really helps us out. We will see you next time, guys. And as always, take care. This has been another episode of the Fantasy Football Dudes podcast. Remember to rate, review, and follow. For more information, go to www.thefantasyfootballdudes.com. And remember, we are sorry for absolutely nothing.